this video I want to demonstrate mark making techniques and in particular I want to focus on compressed charcoal and graphite and I just want to show you here the uh, potential for producing different types of marks on a sheet of paper and introducing those types of marks into your drawing so just basically working across the page and seeing how many different types of marks you can create with your drawing materials. So just beginning here. So one of the things I want to focus on here is intensity of mark. Going from very, very dark, maybe sometimes going over, going very, very light. Okay. Now one way in which you can add a bit more variety to this type of technique is to speed them up. To use the point, or to use the side. And just follow. the initial marks that you've created, as you can see here. As well as these sort of linear elements, you can use the side of your charcoal too. Now, stick charcoal or willow charcoal is also really good for doing this, and you can work in with your finger as you can see and one of the interesting things about this is that the tech you can fade things out and uh, get some quite interesting results so try and work in a variety of ways also so as what you can work in a radial sort of fashion as well again using the same type of technique Drop this over. This creates quite an interesting uh, arrangement of shapes and forms on your paper. But the same is true of graphite. You can get some very, very fine lines if you break it. Again, experiment with the speed of marks you're creating, overlaying marks, pressing harder, pressing lighter, working in a totally irregular fashion, relax your arm. Seeing what you can create when drawing. Now this really is a worthwhile exercise because the range of marks that you create on your page can be introduced into your drawings or your sketches whilst you're working. And it's always good in your sketchbook to have a page where you just really focus on mark making. Again, you can use the side here. Working in different directions. Again here. Seeing different types of marks you can create with your work. Just steadying that. A bit more control with these types of marks here. And just working intuitively and just seeing what can happen whilst you're drawing. Speeding up, being more deliberate, slowing down. So maybe even working back into your initial marks, just emphasizing and repeating the shapes that you have. Okay, now another trick that you can use with charcoal 
is to use a potty rubber. This is a pretty standard technique that you can use to create. And you, the, the good thing about these particular uh, drawing erasers is that you can form them in your hand to create different types of marks on the surface as well. works with graphite as well as charcoal so don't be afraid to experiment with this and you know push the limits to see what you can come up with trying to have a variety of uh, different types of marks and just play around with it and just see if you can introduce them into your drawing as you progress if you're interested in developing your drawing techniques check out some of my videos in the description below which will take you through mixed media drawing and uh, gestural drawing and speed drawing from direct observation just to get a wide range of uh, types of marks that you can create in your work to make it more visually interesting so again thank you for watching